What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how you can set up an RTMP Nginx restreaming server on Amazon AWS in under 10 minutes. Then you can stream to multiple platforms all at once from OBS. So let's get after it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an AWS instance. We're going to log into the instance. We're going to run update and upgrade, install Nginx and RTMP mod, configure nginx com file configure obs stream test the stream to youtube and we're done okay so next up we got to log in and once we log in we're going to go for ec2 and we're going to launch an instance let's give the instance a name Let's go down and choose Ubuntu. We'll choose the version 20. Let's go downstairs and add two gigabytes to the volume. Up here, we'll add a login key. Save it. Locate it on the, on the drive. Take a quick look and launch the instance. Okay, instance launched. Let's go to it. And what we'll do here is we'll refresh a couple of times until the instance state shows as running. Once it's running, let's go over to the instance and we're gonna grab the IP address, the public IP address. Just click that little button there and you'll get it to copy. Notice public IP. Let's minimize that and we'll open up a command line. All right, so let's go ahead now and try and log in and wait for the nasty surprise. Sh dash I, put in your key, Ubuntu, and the IP address, and hit enter. Notice, warning, unprotected key. It's not gonna let you log in, so we gotta go fix this, all right? Our TMP key, where we saved it, go to downloads, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to properties, then we're gonna go to security, then we're gonna go to advanced. We got an extra user there, so we're gonna disable inheritance, choose the one above, Choose that one right there. Now remove the extra person that's not you. Hit apply, hit okay, hit okay again. Close that down. And now let's try and log in. And boom, we're in. Okay, next up we're gonna make ourselves root. Sudo, not sudo. Okay, and I am going to run APT update. With that done, now I am going to run APT upgrade. Now this will take a little bit, so I'll fast forward this part. Okay, so now we'll clear the screen. That's a Windows command, clear. All right, now let's install Nginx. Let's clear it again. Okay, now we're going to install libnginx-mod.
rtmp And here we will have both Nginx and the RTMP module installed. All right, let's clear that. Let's go over to the Nginx directory. And let's do a pretest of the com file to make sure that it's, it's okay. I mean, it should be, so we'll just check. Okay, so it shows successful, so we're good. So now we're going to open up the actual Nginx com file and we'll put in the details that are over on the paste bin with the link in the description below. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, going all the way down to you find mail, and then go above mail and below that bracket and then give yourself some space. So we're going to Open that up a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to the paste bin details that I have here. And I'm going to, well, if you'll notice, you're going to place this just above the mail. So it shows you in there where to place it and the command to get there. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy all of that. Copy, and we'll just paste that right in there. And then you'll notice we've got to go enter because we're going to do a YouTube test. I'm going to go over here and edit where it says your YouTube key. So I'm going to clear that out. And then I'm going to go over to YouTube and get this one-time key that I've set up. And I'll just expose it there. And then I'm going to copy that. Right? That's the key. You can see it there. Minimize that. And then I'm going to paste that right there. Just make sure that everything looks just like that with, this, with the forward slash etc. Let's save this file out. Yes. Save. And we are done with that. Okay, so let's run clear and then we're going to run the nginx-t to test the configuration file. All good. Okay, so let's go back to the paste bin where I have some commands. So I'm going to restart Nginx by shutting it down and then starting again. So I'll just grab that command, copy, paste, and then we'll just press the up arrow here and just edit this and tell it to start. All good. Okay, so let's just look quickly at the processes. You see Nginx is running. So we have fully configured RTMP on Ubuntu. Next up is to test it. So let's go over to OBS and we'll configure the stream. Now that's the IP address from the server that you created. And you'll notice, follow that exact protocol there, paste it in as shown there, apply, OK, all right, and then I go bring up YouTube. You see it's in the ready to, to go live mode. I put it in the ready to go live mode. So all it's doing is waiting to receive this stream. And I start streaming. You notice it's a little bit sluggish in the beginning because it's just kicking off. Okay, you can already see that YouTube is getting prepped up, receiving the stream. It is queuing up. You already have green on your OBS and boom, there you go. We have it up and running. So test complete. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to OBS and change the scene. And this scene is running an actual video. This video is up on YouTube if you want to watch it. How to, how to mirror your Android. So you'll notice there might be a little bit of sluggishness in, in terms of this. You know, there's that little delay right there on the left. That's because I am recording this on a machine that's okay. It's pretty good, but um, there's a lot going on. But uh, generally, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. It's been green the whole way through. Excellent connection, and it's, it's pretty solid. You notice that uh, streaming is functioning. It's all good. And what we'll do now is we'll go over, we'll stop the streaming on OBS. We'll end the stream on YouTube. Click end. Congratulations. Next. Dismiss this. Your recording will be over in your live content on YouTube. So that's going to do it for this one, RTMP stream server on AWS in Ubuntu in about 10 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you didn't, be sure to like, subscribe, pass the video on, and I will see you in the next one.